Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel here at Crypto Nation. And if, you, if you're new here, it's totally free. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button for post notifications. I just want to say thanks to all my um, uh, recently new subscribers. Anyways, uh, let's let's get right into it. Also, before we get started, if you'd like to support the channel, PayPal or Cash App is always in the description. Um, or you can um, get the channel membership. My portfolio is over there. You can see what I'm doing. And uh, my last video that I did last week was pretty good. I shared, shared with you guys two utility low cap gems. Um, so yeah, let's let's get right on to it. Uh, so uh, Bitcoin is at, uh, as you guys, you know, if you've been on the rock, the, the crypto market is flash crashed again over the last couple of weeks. Actually, yesterday, yesterday, it actually looked like um, the market was starting to rebound, like we were starting to go back up. And then next thing you know it, overnight, we flash crashed again. And the market has been flash crashing for the past what couple of days now. So Bitcoin is down. Bitcoin is down six. Excuse me. Yep, six percent now for the seven day. Ether is down over five percent for the seven day. And for the last twenty four hours, they're both down. Ethereum is down close to four percent, and Bitcoin is down three point two four percent. So this is a big discount. Big discount going on right now. Um, I think this could be one of the major last major flash crashes. You know before our, you know parabolic run uh because this already been proven even um you know months after the bitcoin having the market is just not going to go straight up you know we'll get a few pumps and then you know also in a in a few flash crashes so you look at solana solana's down to 124 is down over 50 percent in a seven day and down down over seven percent in the um over the last 24 hours um, but yeah, this is definitely, uh, if you look at all the top cryptos by market cap, the top 20, they're all pretty much down. Let me see here. Look like this big, big discount going on. There's internet computer back down to, um, seven, seven dollars. Um, you know, internet computers under eight dollars. So it's a big discount for the whole crypto market. Um, you know the whole crypto market is um you know it uh i'll say it pulled back pretty hard uh but the uh the main thing here is let me see here okay so we have uh bitcoin um well the million dollar question is bitcoin going to retest that 58 between 58 to 60k again you know from looking at bitcoin right now okay i'm looking at the one hour it says zero is trading flat right now but it's down it's down over nine percent for the one month. Not bad, but the thing is, when it does that, like you know, Bitcoin is down three point two percent for the day. Just like I said in my previous videos, all it takes is for Bitcoin to go down a couple of a couple of percentage down for all coins to, to tank between you know ten to fifteen percent. I'm saying some all coins are down eleven percent, nine percent, thirteen percent. You know, uh, so um, for, Bitcoin may retest. It, you know, worst come to shove, it, it'll probably retest that between, like I said, between 58 to 60 K or it may not a lot of it, you know, the speculation, but as of right now, Bitcoin is, you know, it retests that 62 K again, but all we know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, you know, it looked like, you know, the whole, the whole crypto market is looking for new structure, a new level of support. So Bitcoin now is that, you know, like I said, it, 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 it could possibly go back under 60 K. But let's see what happens. I remember the last time we were at these levels, I actually thought Bitcoin was going to dip back down into the you know 50s, but it didn't. It went up from there. But we'll, we'll see what happens over the next few days. Um, let's see if some liquidity can get back into the market. Um, I guess as of right now, the shorts, the shorts are winning right now. I ain't going to lie. The shorts are kind of winning right now over the last you know few weeks. But you know, there's been a lot of selling pressure for Bitcoin at, I'll say, at about 70 between 70 to 73k there's a lot of selling pressure but but eventually we're going to break that barrier but uh also there's been rumors about germany they say that germany sold off a lot of bitcoin uh so when we have institutions or countries selling off like that of course it's going to bring a negative impact on the market so yeah there was a rumor about that as well about germany selling off a lot of bitcoin but then again you got institutions that are buying up like michael michael saylor michael strategy they, they recently bought a lot of bitcoin so when you, you know, when retail, when we see these kind of flash crashes, don't be fooled. Big, the big money is buying uh, to get ready for the next major pump. But 
this is how a lot of retail get full, get scared out of get scared out of their play by panic selling. I'll say not fat out to the vice, but right now I wouldn't want to panic sell. We're all down. Hey, I'm down. Um, all of our portfolios are bleeding right now. Everybody who's in crypto, if you're not on the sidelines, you know, uh, like a cheerleader, everybody who's in crypto, we're all down right now. So, you know, but but like I said, but if you was if you're a newbie and you got money to invest, this would be the perfect time to get in. Uh, like I said, I'm going for low cap utilities. I, I'm not gonna lie, I wish I was able to buy this dip right now, but unfortunately I can't. I'm pretty much my liquidity is um is all stretched out. You know, been buying these dips for the last few years, but you know, I just gotta wait for it to go back up. But like I said, I wish I did have extra extra dry pot on the side. The, the you know the the dip into this dip, you know. But like I said, this is when you look at this crypto market. Um, this is actually the best time. Especially if you got extra liquidity to buy more, this is the best time to, to get your averages down. So whatever your average was, you know, if I'm talking to the people who's holding crypto, uh, you know, I'm not talking to the weak hands or, you know, the weak money. I'm talking talking about the people who's already in the crypto, who already got their portfolios established. You know, this would be the perfect time to add to your, you know, bags. Because uh, like I said, I, I know because I know we're not going to see these type of prices forever. This is a straight, uh, I'm looking at this, this is a straight fire sale. I was looking at Swift coin. Swift is back down to 48% of a penny. Jasmine's back down under three cents. All these coins are um, are at discounted prices right now. And like I said, this is, if you got extra dry powder to buy, you know, to buy more, um, this is the opportunity to get your average, whatever your average, to get your average down. Like I said, I wish I did have extra liquidity to, to load up on this dip because it, this is perfect opportunities. And honestly, this is where a lot of people don't realize when the market, when the crypto market does this, you know, in, in a bull run, like like a couple of months after the Bitcoin having, uh, th this is where millionaires are made in crypto. Uh, I just want to put that out there. I don't know what other crypto YouTubers are telling you, but when the market does this, this is actually, believe it or not, this is where millionaires are made by just loading up on these dips, getting your average down and, you know, and just multiplying uh, your portfolio, because like I said, when you buy, they say when you buy, pick up these dips, and then eventually when the market starts to go green again, starts to take off, uh, whatever, uh, start doing this run. That's that's when your portfolio is going to multiply, and because you know you got your average down. But that's the whole key, you know, to keep your, you know, to have your average low as possible. But yeah, guys, um, this is definitely opportunity to um, to to you know to continue to load your bags. If you got the extra, you know, we all got lives outside of crypto. We got bills we got to pay. You know, we probably have families we got to support. You know, we, we all got responsibilities we got to take care of, right? Uh, but yeah, um, or if not, you know, hey, we just got to wait for the market to go back up. Uh, we, you know, at the end of the day, we have no control you know, what goes on, you know, what as the price moves. We, we just have to play it. As a retail investor, we got to play this game the best way we can. Obviously, we have no control what the price does. Obviously, you know, it's all, you know, obviously if it was up to me, I'd be wanting my portfolio to be going 50 to 100 X, you know, in a short period of time. But obviously it's not, it doesn't work that way. Uh, you know, it, it, these are, these are long-term holds. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm looking at this sea of red. This is opportunity to, you know, I know there's a lot going on behind the scenes. We got the elections coming up months away. Um, Biden and, um, and Trump gonna have a debate. I wonder what, what they're gonna talk about when they when they do bring up crypto, cryptocurrency. That's gonna be very interesting. Uh, but anyways, when you see the sea of red like this, this is actually when you want to buy more crypto. You know, you know, I've learned that from you know, one thing I learned in crypto. You don't want to chase green candles. You know, like I said, you you buy when it's red and sell when it's green. That's the whole key, especially if you're up, you know, a nice amount. You know, if you're up a nice bag. But anyways, that is my take what's going on in the crypto market. Like I said, Bitcoin, um, I don't know, maybe right now, this is where we're at now, 62,526, you know, um, as I make this, uh, you know, this content. But like I said, by the time you guys get this video, this content, Bitcoin could be at a totally different price. You know, that's how fast it moves. But yeah, let's see if Bitcoin decides it wants to retest, where it's want to retest again. So so we retested 62,000, 62,000 and a half, you know, so let's see what happens over the next, you know, 24 to 48 hours. Um, uh, but yeah, tell me what you think. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe.
Um, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button for our uh, post notifications. Okay, I want to check out the community here. Oh man, I'm tired. I was busy all day. I didn't even have time. Well, technically, I was busy all day yesterday. It's technically Monday now. Um, it says once Bitcoin breaks this downtrend, we are going back up to 70k. I believe it. Honestly, I believe that you know this is probably this this could have been a healthy dip for, for the whole crypto market. Come to think about it, like I said, I believe that you know just by looking at that data and historical data, um, I believe that you know like I said we've already touched 62k, and like I said, I believe our next major pump. I believe that Bitcoin is going to possibly get to go between 70 to 75k our next major pump to break that you know to go ahead and liquidate shorts. Because what I, I heard from what I'm hearing is that once once Bitcoin gets up, you know, gets back up to like 73K, I, I, from what I'm hearing, all this, most shorts are going to they're going to get liquidated. You know, they're going to go ahead and get flushed out, get liquidated, you know, the shorts. But I'm not going to lie, though, the shorts still winning right now. The crypto Bitcoin shorts or whatever, they're they're winning right now. So, hey, you know, hey, but, you know, eventually you guys party is going to be up and it's going to be the bulls party eventually. But, you know, for the for the, you know, for the Bitcoin and crypto shorts. Hey, you know, hey, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys are making your life changing gains, uh, you know, betting against the market. But I know once the bulls, once our time come, you know, we make our life changing money. Um, you know, we're like I said, we're doing this the right way. But 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 as far as the bears, uh, the bears, hey, um, like I said, I hope I hope you guys made your life change your money, whatever. But you guys, you guys time is going to be up eventually. But as far as the bulls, the bulls, our day is coming. We're just going to keep loading up by, you know, add, add to our positions as we, you know, as we go. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I do believe that Bitcoin will eventually, but when it bounces off this, it's going to bounce hard and, and all coins are going to be going back uh, to uh, to new highs. Uh, but anyways, that is my take on the crypto market and Bitcoin. Uh, like I said, uh, Bitcoin uh, will probably we could possibly be test maybe 59, uh, 50, 50 AK. Well, you know, we'll, like I said, we'll see what happens. Um, we'll see what happens with, um, you know, over the next, you know, week or so. But anyways, uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, support the channel. That is my update on the, on this crypto flash crash. I'm just giving my thoughts, and yeah, and, uh, and most of this is opinion based. Uh, doesn't make everything factual, but like I said, in crypto, we all got to do our own uh, research. But anyways, I will see you guys um in the next one. Peace.